After defeat to Weymouth on the weekend, Dartford looked to bounce back with a trip to Hungerford Town, where they will look to hammer home their position in second place and build a bit of a gap out. The team then for Dartford, it's Dan Wilkes back in goal with Samir Carruthers, Connor Essam, Tom Bonner, Luke Allen, Alex Wall, Kieran Murta, Maxwell Statham, Isaac Ogandere, Jack Smith and Pierre Foncou on the bench. Luke Coulson, Obion Yaguara, Ben Dodinsky, Janae Mead and Malachi Napa completing Alan Dowson's squad. And for today's hosts, the Crusaders, Jed Ward starts in goal with Louis McCrory, Fabio Lopez, Luke Delaney, Joe Bochy, George Smith, Matt Berry Hargreaves, Reese Tyler the captain, Dylan Ajay Hersey, Jerry Giebe and Ryan Jones completing the 11 on the bench. Curtis Angel, Great Evans, Leslie Duru, Stefan Illich and Kyle Bailey. Picked up by McCrory who goes back to the goalkeeper once more and now with Giebe. Shifting down the right hand side brings the right full back into play before going back to Giebe once more and now all the way back to Jed Ward once more. This time he goes long. Lopez loses out to Organdere in the air, but it only finds a white shirt who can play a ball in behind the dart for back line. Dan Wilkes came out and was a little bit awkward there for Wilkes. Alex Ball was dragged to the ground, wanted a free kick, but wasn't getting it. And if we can play a long ball, which Conor Essam heads away, but it was a little bit of a scuffed header from Essam, and it goes straight to a Hungerford man. The shot will come in from distance, and it's a pretty tame effort from Ryan Jones, who was marauding forward from left back, which bounced just before Dan Wilkes. Could have been a little bit awkward but he made it seem very routine drop kicks this long then up towards Wall who got something on it comes for Carruthers looks to play a ball in behind mistake from the Hungerford back line but Pierre Foncou wasn't allowed to it Alex Wall then coming in there and it's a scrap between the goalkeeper and the two Darford players who somehow can't force the ball away from Jed Ward looking for that magic delivery either side so far these sort of set plays are offering themselves up fairly commonly and it comes from Carruthers again it's not a great ball but one of his worst in fact it's fairly low and into the wall but it will come back to Samir Carruthers on the left hand side he drives in on his right gives it to Kieran Murta who looks as though he's going to give it back to Samir Carruthers before looking to clip a ball into the area it's flicked goalwards by Max Statham and tamely gathered by Jed Ward ball now Darfur can take the throw on by Statham comes for Murta Plays it back towards Max Statham, but he sold him short, and the ball can be played in behind the Dartford back line. Conor Essam's got to be careful here. Slices it behind for a corner. In it comes then, left footed from Jones. Flick goalwards, and in it goes. For the last kick of the half, probably. It was flicked on, I think it's Ajay Hersey. And it's into the far corner, nothing Dan Wilts can do. Not that he's had anything to do so far. And Darfur fall behind once again. Launched away by Wilkes. Off wall and then Murta. Eventually it will come for Kieran Murta. Shifts it sideways for Carruthers. Looks to play it in behind for the onrushing Luke Allen. He'll be first to it, Allen, but he's got a tight angle. He deflected off the fullback, Reese Tyler. And Darfur will win a throw in. In fact, it's a corner. Carruthers raises both arms again before delivering in towards the near post. Decent ball and it's gone all the way in. And I think the goal does stand, does it? And certainly the Dartford players are jogging back and it does stand. It is a goal for Dartford. It was in towards the near post. I didn't really see how it came about, but it just ended up in at the near post. It was a whip ball in from Carruthers, which was in towards the goalkeeper at the near post. Alex Wall has forced it in to get Dartford level, throw, well that was the flag from the linesman but Hungerford will take the throw, Fonku clears, and Hungerford can work it back before launching long once more, it's going to drop in behind the Dartford back line, Conor essam has got to be aware to it, he's not, and then it's smashed in but the flag is raised on this near side. Can't get anything to it, Alex Wall. Hungerford now coming forward on the far side. Conor Essam intercepts, but just gives it straight back to Hungerford. Darford have had no control over this game so far whatsoever. Ball long, which drops for an uncontested Hungerford man before it's knocked sideways to Dylan Ajay Hersey. Plays it down line for the captain, Reese Tyler. He puts the ball into the area. Tom Bonner missed it, and it was dropping for Louis McCrory, who sent it goalwards, and Dan Wilkes read it well and was able to pick it out the... Uh, before it would have found the far corner. 
Back to the number 23, Reese Tyler. Who under pressure from Carruthers, goes back to Gyebi. Still pressing Carruthers, looking to win it high up the field, but Gyebi just driving inside and seemingly uncontested. Now onto the left flank with Lopez, driving at Ogundere and looking to get into the penalty area or put a cross in. He's forced away by Fonku and Ogundere, but there's acres of space on the edge of the box. Before the shot comes in, it's off the bar, and then the, sh the flag surely up from Bochi, who taps in the rebound. Jones striking from range. Tips onto the bar, the tap in then. Now Hungerford are going to whip this ball into the area. Once more it'll be Ryan Jones who's been a threat from set plays and it comes, decent ball in, headed away by Alex Wall. Drops to a white shirt once more and Gyebi whose shirt is almost falling off him. Got a big rip down the middle of it as Carruthers plays a blind ball back into his own box for Bochi and then somehow it's gone wide. George Smith, it's an absolute sitter. It was a blind pass back into his own penalty area which went straight to Bochi. He played it across the six yard area and George Smith, the number 17, looks as though he was just going to tap it in. Comes for Wall, drops into space now for Napa. Played four, ball then nods it down for Malachi Napa once more. Driving inside Napa, his first touches, lays it for Alex Wall. He'll leave it for Luke Allen, looks to shift it to his namesake, Luke Colson. It was a poor ball, but Colson did well enough to come away with it. Leaves it for Isaac Ogundere, looks to fire it through to Pierre Foncou. Can get a shot off here, Foncou. It was a bit of a scuffed effort in truth. Is there to it first, he pokes it out of play for a Dartford throw in and taken on towards Malachi Napa, who was really sold down the river by that pass. And now Hungerford can come forward once more. Statham looks as though he was beaten, but then a slip from the winger allows him to get a foot in, and Dartford can look to come forward now on the left-hand side. Alex Wall's got Luke Allen inside him. He's going to go a lone wall on his left foot. Shoots to the near post. Good save from the keeper. Down the line from Statham towards Murta. It brings down his chest, rather ballooned up off his chest, Kieran Murta, and then that is that here at Bullpit Lane.